hope you had a nice day. Yeah, so uh, there have been a lot of talks about AI and uh, there were many sessions, so that kind of excited me as well to talk about the AI and thanks to the lightning talk uh, uh, kind of uh, concepts here. So yeah, AI is everywhere and so in Postgre. Postgre is the most, uh, one of the most premium database and, uh, and so the Postgre has a kind of extension which is called PG Vector and that implements the uh, uh, AI based uh, uh, your application, you can store the data maybe. I'll just talk about the uh, brief, uh, yeah, so this is what I'm trying to talk. So this is the overall concept, uh, just in last few minutes I made this slide, so sorry if there is some mistake here. Uh, so I'm just trying to kind of summarize that how is that uh, kind of uh, AI model fits along with the PostgreSQL. Uh, so if you see, uh, if any uh, document, image or any object is there, uh, that gets kind of fed to the AI model, and the AI model could be anything like uh, Vortex AI from the Google or OpenAI, and that AI model basically converts those objects into a, a form of embeddings. And uh, if you talk about the embedding, it is nothing but a kind of a, a vector, uh, and that vector can be of any dimension, like thousands or so, depending on the complexity of the objects. So just for an example, let's say if you're talking about uh, a different kind of fruits, so the, the apple fruit can be, uh, has, I mean, it may have a different properties. So like it will be round, uh, the color will be like red, or you may have also like a green apple. So there may be many properties of the uh, object as a apple. So based on those properties, uh, a different uh, vector values gets generated. And that combining all those together kind of uh, forms a unique, uh, unique, uh, kind of uh, identifier of that particular object, and that is called the embedding. So in short, the embedding determines the overall of, uh, properties of that particular object. So that's like a vector gets generated, and that gets generated by the AI model. Uh, so this is like a very high level view, and the AI model kind of does a lot of analysis there, and they generate the embedding. And the embedding is the one which actually uh, can be stored into the PostgreSQL. Uh, so for that also, like PG vector is an extension, and uh, since PostgreSQL provides a very good concept of extension, we can create a new data type, and uh, using that PG vector, we are able to create a new data type called vector. And vector is a kind of multi-dimensional uh, uh, data type which you can store inside the PostgreSQL using the PG vector uh, extension. So then whatever embeddings we get, we store into the PostgreSQL database, and not just embedding, along with that, you can store other uh, metadata information. So let's say if you're talking about the, uh, the fruit, uh, then along with the fruit, you can kind of store other things, like from which uh, state you are getting that fruit, or which country you are getting the fruit, or many, any other metadata. So you can store along with those embeddings uh, while you are storing your uh, AI-related data. So that's how it goes, gets stored into the PostgreSQL. That's one part. Now let's say I have to kind of search for the apple, which is sweet, and in color it is red, and of course it is uh, uh, round. So then I can just search here, uh, and that's my, that will be my query here. Based on my query uh, pattern, whatever kind of apple I'm looking for, that will be fed again to the AI model, and as per that, again, one embedding will be generated, which is again a vector, and that, get, that vector is a kind of a, on which the query will be applied. So like generally we see like uh, the table, something like, select from table where id equal to 10. But in case of here, we'll have like uh, select star from uh, table where embedding, and embedding has a kind of a different kind of operator, not just equal. So we'll apply that operator and, uh, and then whatever embedding we got from here. So that's how the overall query works along with the PostgreSQL. Uh, then there are some uh, kind of uh, top level keywords. Maybe I'll just uh, bit explain about that. Uh, so the first is embedding, which we just talked. So embedding, something like it looks like this. Uh, it's a very simple example. It's just a three dimension, but in uh, real practice, it will be much more than that. Uh, then, yeah, so there are uh, many uh, kind of indexes existing in the, in, 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 uh, uh, even, even in PG vector, like we have a two kinds of index right now. One is the IVF flat and uh, another is HNSW. I'll just give a brief about the IVF flat. Uh, so basically, IVF flat, uh, what it does that when we get the list of all the embeddings, so let's say if you have, yeah, so 
the time is running, so maybe I'll just finish this part. So basically what we do is that, uh, we get many embeddings. So let's say if you have uh, thousands of uh, objects, that we kind of divide into the multiple list. And then the probe is the one, like based on the probe, we decide that on how many lists we want to search the embedding. And based on that, we get the result. Uh, so one thing to consider, like the more number of lists you search, the more accurate result will be. So accurate in a sense that if I say that I am looking for just red round apple, so it, if, if it happened that if you get the green apple as well in that, so that's not the accurate result. So that's how, what the, the accuracy will define. The accuracy gets defined by the partition and uh, proof. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>